Wow. Wow. Um, I know who's winning the Oscar for Best Actress this year, and Best Supporting Actor, and Best Original Screenplay, and Best Visual Effects, and Best Director, and possibly Best Picture. Yeah, this film was that great. Um, <laughs> where can I even begin? It, it, it's hard to say because... There's so much to this film that it feels like, like Jeremy John said good himself that if you say anything, like just say the slightest detail, it feels like a spoiler. It's about these uh, two, it's actually about a group of astronauts, but it's mainly about George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. What it is, they're repairing the Hubble Space Telescope, and then some bad stuff happens. A satellite that kind of, well, ex got exploded by the Russians is kind of spreading its debris all over the place. So, they kind of got to act quickly, and, well, things get out of hand. And that's about all I'm going to say. Because, really, th this is like... I've never seen a film like this before. Like, it, I don't even know where to begin. Alfonso Cuaron is just... He's such an amazing director. Children of Men, Third Harry Potter, whatever you want to say. But this is something else entirely. Like... I can't really think of how many movies set in space. I mean, like the only one I can think of is Apollo 13, but just something about, like, just a master craft of, you know, visual effects and storytelling. Like, it ultimately is about Sandra Bullock and her, like, just her willingness to live. Like, there was one review I read. Uh, the person was saying, you know, this film is about, about death as much as it's about survival. So, yeah, um, and it's also neat because if you think of the survival, like, think of, like, movies like Cast Away 127 Hours, which I think is obviously going to be compared to, you never see many female lead ones, and here we got this one as a female lead. Sandra Bullock is just, like, where can I begin? She's just absolutely incredible. Like, um, <laughs> I was our, my film teacher, like, we were talking about this film, he, my film teacher really wants to watch this as well. Uh, he was saying he didn't like Sandra Bullock, and you know, he didn't think he was going to like it, but I have, I don't know, he said he's not going to see it for about a week, but, um, I saw it with my family, my mom loved it, my little brother loved it, my dad hated it, <laughs> but, um, well, he was saying that it's just not his thing, but this is, wow, like, you don't get films like this very often, this is, um, Alfonso Cuaron, his dream when he was, when he was a boy, is that he wanted to be an astronaut, but then uh, he decided to make movies instead. And he thought, well, why don't I just make a movie about astronauts? Make a movie about astronauts. He spent four and a half years making this, and he says he's never going to do another space movie again. Uh, the key performance is, you know, Sandra Bullock, but I was actually impressed by George Clooney a lot. Um, there were a lot of things uh, reading about this, uh, like George Clooney's performance, and that he actually, like, he is playing the sort of George Clooney-esque character, but a lot of astronauts that I've seen interviews of, and, like, like, I met Chris Hadfield, he's a Canadian astronaut, they're a lot like George Clooney in this movie, that's the funny thing, like, sort of, you know, kind of very full of themselves, maybe, like, uh, there's a lot of great lines, like, you know, he's very sort of, he likes to flirt a bit with, um, uh, with Sandra Bullock, um, the characters are Dr. Ryan Stone, Sandra Bullock's character, and Matt Kowalski, uh, for George Clooney. Uh, George Clooney has some absolutely great bits in this. Um, the, like, and be, this is an Alfonso Cuaron film, which means you can expect one thing, extremely long takes. I almost feel like this is a spoiler, but he talked about this a lot. There is one, like, shot in the very beginning. It's 17 minutes long. And it's literally, like, like the opening action, the opening everything, like, the establishment of the characters, the plot, everything, the setting, like, in, like, it's a 17-minute long shot. That's, like, a good chunk of the movie. This movie, this movie's actually short. It's only an hour and a half. I would, I would have loved to have seen, like, a two-hour version of, like, two hours, maybe, maybe two and a half hours, I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't mind watching a longer movie like this, but... Uh, Karan, Alfonso Karan, he wrote this with his son, Jonas Karan, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And really, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's everything that I imagined. 
and it's um, from what I've read, it's very accurate to what what space looks like. I mean, yeah, there are a few like one or two exaggerations, uh, but um, I don't I don't know. I, there's so many things I want to say, but it will just spoil the movie. Just Sandra Bullock just is great. I I think she's gonna get nominated. I think she might win. I don't know. We'll see. There's still some stuff coming out. I mean, like we can already take that one film Diana out of the picture because it's getting absolutely romped in England because that's where or London where it's coming out. Uh, but I I, I don't want to look at this in the sense that oh yeah this is the type of film you make it so you get Oscars. This is like a landmark in everything. And this might sound weird. See it in 3D. See it in IMAX. See it in anything. And, like, you will feel you're in, like, you're in space. Like, just every, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how Alfonso Cuaron did it, but you feel like you're in space. And, sp like, no one, like, I don't think anyone really wants to go to space. This is, like, the horrors of space, really. It's a lot of things. It's, uh... It's hard to put it down to just one genre, but it is definitely science fiction, but it is grounded in reality. Like, you know, this, okay, yeah, these things actually exist. I'm pretty sure there are, you know, problems in space. Uh, oh, making a bit of a cameo is Ed Harris. You know, he was um, Mission Control or whatever in uh, Apollo 13. Now here here he is in uh, uh, Gravity. It's kind of neat. Um... Oh, this is just a weird thought that came into my head. Uh, I thought there was going to be like a... <laughs> I'm a nerd, forgive me. I thought there was going to be like a Man of Steel cameo because they were in space. And there's a scene in Man of Steel, you know, where Zod, like, chucks a satellite at uh, Kal-El. So. But that's just me. I don't think Karan would do that, ever. Um, but I have nothing else to say. I'm like, this is the best film I've seen this year. Like, this beats The Great Gatsby. <laughs> I got Sergeant JJB84 doing whatever. I don't even know if he's talking to me. I think he's playing the game. Um, this beats out Gatsby. This beats out Pacific Rim. And I think, uh, you know, it's been a fairly mixed year for films. But I think we're getting back on track. So I guess at this point, anything that comes out is lackluster. It's just like, well, it ain't a gravity. Um, but I wouldn't say this is my type of film. Well, I don't know. I don't really. I don't even know what my type of film is. Um, well, maybe stuff like Moulin Rouge, <laughs> but this is definitely one for the history books. With that, this film is getting a solid ten out of ten. Like there is nothing I can think that is wrong with it. I mean, you know, it, there are bits that felt slow-ish, but they had purpose. I mean, the, there was maybe like that, that's maybe like one or two bits at best. There, there is literally nothing I can come. There's nothing, there's like literally nothing I can complain about this movie. Apart from it being, apart from it, I want to see like an extra half an hour. Um, also the time period in which, oh well, like, you know, the, uh, the amount of time in this film. Like, I think this film is only set over a few hours. Like, you know, like in the story. It's only set maybe over three hours at best, I think. And, uh, you really sort of feel that, um... But, I have nothing else to say at this point. Um, it's nice going back to my old format of movie reviews. So yeah, uh, Oscars 2013, 2014, the 86 Academy Awards, I think. We're in for a big show. Uh, vi best visual effects. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder who's winning. Um, yeah. But, uh, it's very, also, it's very haunting look as, you know, to... What outer space does to the human flesh, exactly. Or did I spoil something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, also the technical accuracy. There is no sound in space. This film does that. Like, there is no sound in space. Like, when you see, you know... Yeah, it's been in the trailer. When you see, you know, the spaceships and stuff get hit with debris, you don't hear anything. I mean, the only things you hear, like, vibrations. Like, you know, Sandra Bullock's using a drill or something. Like, you hear the thing vibrate slightly. You hear, it, you hear it make noise, but that's just vibrations, you know, from her arm into her, you know, ears or whatever from the suit. Um, and, you know, you hear all the comms, which kind of sound like this sometimes, but it sort of gets the trick across. But, wow. 
I, I'm out of things to say. This is just, this is a perfect film, maybe. I think on Rotten Tomatoes, this has, like, five <laughs> negative reviews. Um, I mean, I think I'm just out of things to say. This is a masterful film. It's the best film I've seen this year, so... I don't know, I think, uh, well, I don't know. It's gonna be a toss-up between that and Gatsby, but this is, I think this is better than Great Gatsby. And Pacific Rim. And Pacific Rim. But yeah, there's still quite a few films to come out in the next few months, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of movie reviews. But this is the number two on my list of films I wanted to watch this fall, so now everything, <laughs> apart from Catching Fire, just seems like an understatement, I guess. But there's some few other ones I want to watch that will probably get my attention. So yeah, uh, here's to Quran, you've done it again, and I toast, I hold a glass to your Oscar chances, because I think this is going to get some serious attention. Until then, see you later.